right, hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I made a video. I haven't had much time to work on the Ranger. Uh, I've been spending most of my time uh, getting the rear end done on this truck, on the Dodge here. So I did rear brakes. Um, and then obviously that just escalated into doing a bunch of other stuff like uh, doing the bearings on the axles, the seals, uh, did a new diff cover, rebuilt the shocks, uh, pulled all the powder coating stuff off and cleaned it all up. That's been where my focus has been uh, for the last, well, I'd say month or so. And then uh, we just had a big birthday party for my son. We've been going camping a lot, taking the trailer out. So really the, the Ranger's been on the back burner. Um, and now recently we've been doing some work on the house. Or me and my father-in-law, we built a new side gate. Um, let me show that to you real quick. With that said, uh, I've always had a goal of wanting to get the Ranger into the backyard. So put the Ranger on a slab, maybe build some type of cover canopy, you know, some, some type of cover that I could still work on the truck. And then uh, obviously years from now, we have the finances. Um, I'd like to build a shop back there. And that's like the ultimate goal. So we finished this gate over here. And the next weekend, my father-in-law wanted to come over and he really wanted to help me get the other side open uh, so I could pull the Ranger into the backyard. And that's a start. So we ended up doing that last week. But we did build a very nice gate. Uh, it's on casters, it swings wide open. Uh, that area is super tight, which I will show you. Uh, the only truck that'll fit back there is the Ranger. Uh, the 4Runner might fit, but the Dodge, there's no way. So eventually we're gonna blow out this wall here and we're gonna eventually put a roll-up door so I can drive the Dodge back there if I ever do build my shop. And if I wanna work on anything, I can work on it out there. And then the 4Runner could actually get the garage. And so the only thing that would be outside would be the trailer. So those are, you know, those are, those are big dreams and goals of mine. What I'm gonna do today, I am going to add on some stuff to the gate that we just built. Uh, I'll go walk over there in just a second, show it to you guys. But uh, so what we're doing is, I already got a handle on the outside uh, facing you know the front of the house, but I need one on the inside so I can pull it from the backyard. And then I'm gonna put this latch on it to keep it latched. So I'm gonna post hole dig a hole to bury this tubing which then this guy will slide down through and it just keeps the gate secure and it'll be on the uh, inside of the gate which is in the backyard portion uh, so nobody can access it from the front yard and try to open it all right so here is the new gate and it is beefy so i had to double up the casters uh, put one on each side because i just felt like those ones weren't strong enough it's pretty close to eight feet tall all right, let me take you back here to where the truck normally is going to park. It's just the little alleyway I have in between the neighbor's fence and the house. And as you can see, it is a super tight fit right here. So my backyard is pretty big. And this here, somewhere right here, is where I'd like to start with the pad. A uh, canopy, easy up type, you know, carport. And then eventually a nice shop. There is a lot of room back here, but I also have this guy wire for the power pole right in my backyard as well. So that might be an issue later on once it comes to getting plans made for a shop. But yeah, I'll get all this stuff cleaned up. Um, this whole area could be concrete and that would be awesome. she is and that's where I hope she will get to park every day
so I got the lock mechanism on. Got the tubing concreted into the ground. And works great. Got the handle mounted. That's it. Alright guys, so I hope you liked the video. I know it was short. I know it wasn't truck stuff. It'll help me do truck stuff later on, especially when I get a pad built back there. Uh, having access to the backyard has always been something that I've wanted to do for, you know, years. And I'm glad I'm able to fit that truck back there. And, you know, once I get some type of makeshift garage back there, you know, it'll really uh, allow me to do stuff that I've been wanting to do without having to clog up the driveway and that's that's the ultimate goal that's it hopefully i don't take too much longer to make another video Peace.